All right, guys, welcome back. I am Switters. This is Vampire Part 32. We are going to um, Loisius Dawson's place. We had to find a, uh, a back way in. It was locked up front. Is this his place? Wow. He is rich. Um, and we're supposed to turn him. Uh, the Ascalon Club told us uh, that we had to turn him because the head of the club... Uh, what's his name? Are these bad guys? I don't think so. These are his servants that he just let go, that we found out about before? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Perhaps it was during the war. He's healthy. We can zap him. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Hmm. Okay. Zink. Where is the trail leading us? That way? Okay. I'm gonna get all these dudes. I saw three of them. If we can take out all three, that's what I'm doing. And I don't really care what happens to the neighborhood. Um, like I said last episode, you know, we just... Fighting Doris was very difficult. We were able to upgrade a little bit. <coughs> um, but for these boss fights, man, they're not going to get easier than you know it was against her. I'm sure it'll just get harder. So we need to upgrade, 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 upgrade. Just period. So in the end, was it you we were waiting for? Death was our destination. Yeah, very, very poetic. Agamemnon Baker? Where's that clue? Why didn't you give me the clue? Is that him? Perseus Baker? Who is Agamemnon Baker? We have everything unlocked about him, and I don't remember. It, I don't remember this dude at all. Again, I am very, very, very tired right now. So <laughs> maybe I. Uh, maybe I'm supposed. I should remember him. Is this him? Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Perhaps you'd like to go see your brother? I know. I don't know how all uh, his hints what were unlocked. Can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've never talked to the guy before. To my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Okay. Is it, there's the line. Um, yeah, let's let's bring you to your brother. We're getting so much XP right now. 
this part of the city is going to be very dangerous, but it's not like it's so easy as is. Uh, where are we going? Nobody can see us. Let's just do it here. And I saw one more guy up there, too. This makes no sense. No sense at all. I should have told my brother to go sooner. Yeah, well, it's your fault he's dead. What do you think about that? That's what you get for having the name Agamemnon. Where is that, uh... I'm not very good with my, uh... Mythological... Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are, and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Whatever the hell I want. How do you think about that? I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous. And you'd better be careful. Yeah, they're dangerous because of me, man. Uh, we will... Uh, I can't zap them. Do you know anything in particular we'll heal him in about a second. man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. What are you investigating, exactly? I currently have a few missing persons cases. Mr. Tadao Kamura and Miss Louise Teasdale. I'm afraid they may have been abducted by my mysterious maniac. I don't know the first one, but I know about Louise. Tell me about Mr. Kimura. Mr. Kimura is a businessman who has been missing for a few days. He didn't go home, didn't go to work, didn't go back to his family. Where was he last seen? Mr. Kimura was last seen at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I followed a possible lead in the West End, but I found nothing. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. Because I do. <laughs> I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Now she's not down there, man. Don't go down there. Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. You'll quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. Are we positive I can't do that, man? 2500 XP? Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. I'm sure we will when I'm a level 5. Um, where's the front door? It's locked. It's locked, all right. Uh, where, where's the door? Well, it's behind me. I'm supposed to be. I didn't see a door over there, did you? Is that it? Oh, th it's... Oh, here we go. This is a hideout.
Yeah, we don't. I don't want to do that right now. <clears throat> I thought, um, I thought we'd be able to... I'm going the wrong way. Okay, looking straight ahead there, over there to the left. I mean, uh, to the right. But we can't get in. I don't need to eat you rats right now. Is there no way we can... Jump? Do you guys see a, uh basement door that might be open? Did I just have to go a couple more steps? Probably. It's usually what happens to me in this game. What is that? Do you hear that? It's gonna be another puzzle? Maybe I have to unlock the... Or is that him right there? Who are you? Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They've told me of your unquenchable thirst for blood. Be wary, Ekon. I've heard such a rich diet can be bad for the heart. Oh. I just want to see what this dude's deal is. He's healthy, he's a five. <clears throat> Can't take him out anyway. <laughs> is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts. Readings which blackened his heart. More info, okay. Uh, perhaps we should. I want to find about this May first. I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then. A strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them. And the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Okay. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? The vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. Ooh, it's like being at the Santa Monica Pier, going to one of those uh, tarot readers. Let's All right. It. 
Let me hear it. You'll cast your heart into the fire without hesitation, Jonathan. For pain is only for the mortals. That's it. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Perhaps London will survive the epidemic. But it I amuses you? That's a little obnoxious. It's locked, alright. Yep, sure is, buddy. Um. See how that moves when I stand on it? I'm sure you can hear it as well. <clears throat> but I don't know, uh... got to be a way I can jump up, zap myself up there, just glint it in the light so I can keeps telling me to go, I'm on it. Don't know how to get in. Are these doors all locked. Nothing to see here. Still want to get into that chocolate shop we saw earlier. I don't know. Maybe we have to keep asking more people. Get more clues to unlock uh, a gate or the door or whatever. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That was weird. Is there something I was supposed to jump onto? This is where we started. How the hell do I get in here? But they will not be forgotten. Dude, can you help me get into this house or what, man? He's gonna say the same thing. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit yeah, murder and get away with exactly it. exactly the same. With just one phone call. <laughs> Goodbye, okay. Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay, uh, if you guys know how to get in, man, just shout it out right now. Did I have to go... Alright, the only thing I can think of is... What is that? Go through the safe house. try to go around is that it no that's not it okay but maybe we have to go up like there or something Dude. 
Don't hey, shoot man. at me from over there, you piece of... I'm just gonna keep whacking you. Okay, they were knocking on this door, though. Maybe we can, uh... No, we can't. This is where we literally just came from. It's our hideout. So, maybe there's a way... Through here? Okay, so we were in the backyard the whole time. Let's just go in. Took too long to get in there to begin with. I mean, you know, they put it on the map like that. It's just like, it's, you think you're supposed to find the way in over on the other side. and So of course it's not over there, but whatever. So we're obviously not gonna turn him into a vampire, into an Ekon. Um, Lady Ashbury said that, you know, he's about to die anyway, so are we going to try to make it look like it's, uh, like he had a heart attack kind of a deal, you think? Or, I mean, if we have the chance to just kill him and get the XP and say, oops, I guess he, you know, he's too old to handle it. Um, Dawson's mansion. Random loading screen. Here I am at last. But the question That's remains: lost. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? No. Talk with him. Okay. Uh, we're gonna steal all your stuff while we're at it, though. Whatever I can find. Is there some money right there? No. Take that wine goblet, I'll have it. Probably sell it or something. Um, yeah, so... You think that's what's gonna happen? Like, we can, uh... We'll kill him... With the embrace. I know he's... I think he's just in that door. I'm just looking around to see what else we can, uh lift from his place because I don't know after we kill him will we be able to stick around are we gonna have to run are we gonna do whatever so I want to get all the stuff I can get before that happens maybe there's some kind of, you know this guy is that rich he just leaves coins lying around shouldn't there be like hundreds just like stacks just sitting there what's that I don't think we need to read it, do you? I'll pull it up so you guys can, um, if you want to. You can pause it on there. Where's the... Uh... I don't know which one it is. I don't think that's it. I know it's not that. I don't know. So, sorry, you're not reading that one right now. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't important anyway. We're just taking all kinds of stuff. Uh, we found... It's locked. In our house, there's a safe that's locked, too. So I'm sure that was, you know, mom or dad's. Um, we'll probably need to find some sort of key. Look like a combination lock kind of a deal, but maybe we'll find a piece of paper, you know. It says, hey, it's... it's uh, here's the code. Oh, he's right here. All right, we stole plenty. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. 
What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight, I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Well, we talked to you at the, uh... Club. You said you didn't want this. I'm the only vampire in the room for now. So please indulge me. All right, all right. What is it you wish to ask? I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Nothing like all about this guy. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Hmm. I have a feeling we're supposed to ask. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. Oh, this guy's such a piece of crap. <sighs> what if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna... I want to ask all the questions that we can. Um... You really plan to build a Just because we're going to kill him, we're not going to get anything London. else from yes, him, so... It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. It just feels like it's, uh, important. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. Yeah, this already said is a that. desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my <laughs> pending immortality gives me the needed authority, doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Yeah. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. I gotta make sure I don't click All the right. wrong thing do here. What you have to do. 
If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Hint required. See, we didn't unlock something. You sacrificed 2,000 XP? Forget that, man. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Okay, we didn't get much XP, but we did go up. Oh, we're gonna go. Let's go open that uh, that safe right now. Third key. It was right over here, right? All we got was some money? I don't even know how much money we have anymore, but we only spent it that one time. Um, you guys see another safe? We didn't get to look over here very much because we went into a cutscene as soon as we did. Treatment for fatigue and anemia. It said third key, right? So I think we got three. You're a douche. Glad you're dead. Uh, that stuff keeps stacking. Uh, we walked over it, or we just found a bunch of stuff in. Oh, there's the last one. Watery rich blood sample. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're in trouble. But uh, that guy was such an asshole. We're gonna go to. Who's that? Oh, shoot, he's right there. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? <laughs> he didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well? Get rid of me, then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you, then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Oh. And by the sword you die. I did report to him. Talk with old Bridget. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hold it there. I just wanted to get to a uh, a save screen before we left it. Um, yeah, no way I was letting that guy come back. He was just god-awful. Glad he's dead. Glad we stole all of his stuff. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we're going to head to our place. we got to talk to Bridget, but we're going to go... Or not our place, but there's that uh, hideout in the neighborhood. So we got to go there. Um, we can recycle and make a whole bunch of new things. Probably upgrade... Um, our weapon or two 
and we have 12,000 XP now. So we're definitely up in the beast. We're definitely up in the mist. Um, maybe our health and blood and all that kind of stuff too. Let's see, how, you know, we gotta see how much it, it, it takes uh, for all that stuff, but we're gonna do it if we can. And I will see you guys back here very soon. Thanks so much for watching.